Um, does the White House have a reaction to Attorney General um, Lynch meeting with Bill Clinton uh, at a time when the DOJ is overseeing the probe into Secretary Clinton's email uh, usage? Well, uh, Jeff, I've obviously seen the reports about this, and the reports are driven by uh, the answer that uh, Attorney General Lynch herself gave to this question. Um, look, I, I think the bottom line is simply that both the President and the Attorney General understand how important it is for the Department of Justice to conduct investigations that are free of political interference. And that's been a bedrock principle of our criminal justice system in this country since our founding. The rule of law is paramount. And every American citizen should be held accountable to that rule of law, regardless of their political affiliation, regardless of who supports them politically, regardless of what their poll numbers say. And that is a principle the President believes is one that's worth protecting. The reason that that's so important is it prevents erosion in the public confidence in our justice system. And this is a, a principle that Attorney General Lynch has dedicated her three decades in law enforcement to. Uh, she served as the U.S. Attorney in the Eastern District of New York. She has her own firsthand experience uh, in conducting public corruption cases. She did that. Uh, she protected the public trust uh, by prosecuting individuals in both parties who where there was evidence to indicate that they may have uh, violated the public trust. Uh, this is what earned her strong bipartisan support um, when she was nominated for the job. And she has continued that work in the Attorney General's office uh, in a variety of ways, including uh, a recent announcement about uh, Medicaid fraud um, and obviously her uh, efforts to root out corruption in one of the most influential international athletic organizations in the world. So she certainly understands that investigations should be conducted free of political interference and consistent with the facts. Investigators should be guided by the facts and by evidence. And that's ultimately what should support their conclusions. And uh, she's made clear that that's the expectation that she has for the way that uh, this investigation should be conducted. The President's made clear that that certainly is consistent with his expectation about how this should be handled. Uh, and uh, so that's, uh, I also think that's consistent with the American public's expectation about how this should be handled. Well, and, but given that, Josh, mm -hmm. is the White House concerned about even just the appearance of political uh, influence <coughs> because of that meeting? Well, listen, I, I, I'm not going to uh, second guess the way that this. Uh, uh, investigation uh, should move forward or should be handled I'm again. About I'm asking about the meeting between Attorney General Lynch and Bill Clinton. Yeah, well, I wasn't there for the meeting, uh, and I, um, but the Attorney General was. She was asked a direct question about it, and she answered it. So, uh, again, I think that's consistent with everybody's expectations. Um, My question is about the appearance that that meeting created. Well, I guess what I what I'm suggesting is that. She was asked about it directly, uh, and she answered the question directly about what exactly transpired. And um, so, you know, she's spoken to this. I don't have any insight into that meeting. I also don't have any insight into the investigation. Um, but the President's view is that this is an investigation that should be conducted free of any sort of political interference. Uh, and the Attorney General has indicated that that's uh, exactly her expectation as well. Okay. Michelle. Thanks, Josh. Are you saying that the White House feels that it's fine that she had this meeting with Clinton? There's no problem with that? Uh, I, I think what I'm saying is that uh, the President believes that this principle of protecting uh, any investigation from any sort of political interference is critically important. The rule of law is paramount, uh, and people should be judged by the rule of law uh, without regard to their partisan affiliation or their political standing. And that is a, a, a principle that's worth protecting. Uh, it's a principle that uh, both the President and the Attorney General are committed to. So you said that she answered questions about it, but mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't know 
if, if there's any question of impropriety, I mean, who would stop at just asking the person who was involved in that, or if, or if a mistake was made? Um, so does the president have a question for her about this meeting? Well, I, I haven't spoken to the, uh, to the president about this particular matter, but again, the president's expectation is that this is an investigation that will be guided by the facts, not by politics. And uh, we've been gratified to see uh, other senior officials at the Department of Justice, including the Attorney General and the FBI Director, uh, indicate that that's a priority for them as well. And you just talked about how important it is um, for people to see things being handled properly so that there is no erosion in public confidence. But Democrats today, some, are also saying that just the optics of this, that, that they should have known better, that, I mean, you're, you're talking about that potential of erosion and confidence. Doesn't this have the potential to do that as well? Well, listen, I, I think, uh, again, I, I think what should give people confidence uh, is the 30-year career that Attorney General Lynch has in keeping the public's trust uh, and making sure that she continues to be an effective advocate for the rule of law and for the fair administration of justice. She's done that throughout her career. She's done that in the uh, Office of the Attorney General. Uh, and again, when it comes to appearances, she was asked very directly uh, about the meeting and she answered the question very directly. Um, so for what impact that may have on the investigation, I'm just not going to comment on that because I don't want to be in a position of, of uh, second-guessing an investigation that, quite frankly, I haven't been briefed on. But we're not talking about the investigation itself. We're talking about... Well, I, think, I, think, I think that's the question that you're raising, is what potential impact does this optic have on the investigation? And well, uh, again, you, I'm just, raised, I'm not going to talk about it. You raised the appearance which could lead to an erosion of public confidence in that process. That, that doesn't mean the process itself is tainted, but you spoke to the erosion of public confidence. So if you, if you, if you seem satisfied with what the Attorney General said about the meeting, why will you not say that you're okay that that meeting happened, that you don't have a problem with that? Well, what I'm saying is simply, when I was talking about the erosion of the public trust, what I said is public trust would be eroded if it were, if people were not making an effort to make clear that these investigations should not be influenced by politics. And the Attorney General, the Director of the FBI, other senior officials at the Department of Justice, and the President of the United States have all indicated that the rule of law is paramount, that people should be subject to the rule of law without regard to their political standing or their political party or their poll numbers. That's a, that is a principle that we should all subscribe to. And the President and the Attorney General and the Director of the FBI all do. But just to be clear, you're not saying then that the President and the White House is fine with this meeting having, having happened the way it did? Uh, again, I would, did not attend the meeting, um, but Attorney General Lynch did, and she's spoken uh, directly to uh, how the meeting came about and what was discussed. We are talking optics here, though, not, not the content of that meeting. Just the optics themselves. I hate that word, but that's what everybody's talking about. Yeah. So the appearance, you're okay with the fact that the that this meeting has raised that question, are you are you concerned okay. that that appearance? Has I'll let, changed? I'll let the attorney general speak to uh, to her meetings. Uh, but uh, what is paramount in the mind of the president is a commitment to the rule of law and a commitment to ensuring that justice is administered without regard uh, to political affiliation or political standing. Okay, Justin. Thank you.